Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, so today we're going to go through this uh, elliptic animation and I'm going to show you how to create it from the ground up. Uh, but what I mostly want you to pay attention to how to work to, uh, with joints and other components in order to create different kind of um, motions. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's start. So I'm going to start with a new project here, with a new file. Um, first, uh, we need to add the uh, gear script. So I'm going to use the uh, Shift S key in, a, in order to bring it up. Uh, you can also just go in under the Edits and Scripts and Edits. Uh, choose the Edits uh, tab. Scroll all the way down to the Spore gear and then run it. Mine is already uh, on, so I don't have to do that. So we're going to create Spore Gear. Here I'm using a metric. So um, right here under the module, I'm gonna choose five. Number of teeth, it's 24. The thickness, I'm gonna be five millimeter. And I don't need a hole in the middle. And yep, that's it. And click OK. And now we're going to create the second gear. Everything is basically the same except for the number of teeth. And click OK again. OK, now we, what I'm going to do is going to position the large gear and to the side here. Let's get a little bit more close. And now I'm gonna change it to you can just see minus five, maybe 0.5 and 0.9. So minus six. Let's see how it's gonna be. No, 0.5 maybe. Yeah, looks much better. Okay. Um, now next uh, we are going to create the pins in the middle. And for the eccentric here, to the left, uh, the, the smaller gear. So um, we're gonna start with the new component. Just turn it to the other side. And uh, let's create a sketch on this one. And don't forget, we need to uh, capture the position. Because if not, what's going to happen is the top gear is going to go back on top of the, uh, the the large gear is going to go on top of the small gear. So remember to uh, choose a caption position. Uh, okay, I'll just go to uh, to the circle here, and let's make it uh, somewhere here, 15 millimeters, and we're going to extrude it, and 15 millimeter gonna be enough let's create a second one and this one yeah we're gonna create a new component and it's going to be um, on the large gear and it's gonna be on the center here 15 millimeters and we're gonna extrude it 15 millimeters Okay, so we're going to create a new component and this one's gonna be back here on the smaller gear and here in the center, 15 millimeters. And don't worry if you don't understand exactly why I'm doing all everything um, here. So um, in the end, you're gonna understand everything. So you're gonna extrude this one, give it 15 millimeters <coughs> as well. Okay, so already now I can start to uh, some of the joints. So I'm going to create a, let's see here. Um, okay, this one and this one are going to be rigid. And this one and this one, it's not going to be rigid. It's going to be revolved around this is not good um, let's move actually to this one for a second 
and this one top of this one and it's going to be rigid and uh, sorry revolt here and um, let's take this one on top of this one voila okay next um, we are going to um, let's see here yes I'm going to create a new component and uh, I'm just gonna make an offset from here it doesn't matter which from where you're gonna take the offset five millimeters it's, it's okay it's enough I'm gonna draw a line here from here to here and okay we don't need to do anything about it <clears throat> We just need to uh, ground it. Yes. Now we are going to um, <clears throat> rigid this one, this pin with this component. We don't want it to move because we don't. We want the um, the gear revolt in place here and um, we're going to create a new as build joint between this one and this one and it's going to be slide because we want this one to slide back and forth so we're going to choose this one and it can start from here good so far so good let's go back and see what we've got okay now um Next, we're going to create a hand which is going to connect this pin and this one. And this is actually going to create uh, the motion. It's going to help to move the, the large gear away and back, away and back. And it's going to keep the distance also between the gears. And you're going to understand in a moment uh, exactly why I'm doing it. So we're going to create a new component and uh, create here in an offset plan, which I'm going to move a little bit inside. Yeah, minus five millimeters, it's fine. And okay, let's create a sketch here. And in this sketch here, I'm going to project this circle here and this circle here. And I'm going to offset it, give it five millimeter. Yes, it's enough. And I'm going to offset this one as well, five millimeter. And that's enough as well. Okay, um, now I'm just gonna create, connect those two together. Where exactly, how, it doesn't matter at this point. You can also use uh, just a normal straight line if you want. I'm using this one because I think it looks uh, nicer and uh, now we're just gonna create some uh, constraints here and almost finish yes and we're gonna remove these uh, lines here we don't need them and we can finish the sketch I'm gonna extrude it inside a uh, minus i don't know three that's enough good now we're going to uh, create some joints between this part and this pin here and it's going to be revolute around here and we create a new joint between this the hand and this pin <clears throat> And it's going to revolute around here and click OK. Good. <clears throat> so um, let's see what we've got here so far. Let's see how it's working. Voila. So you see, we already have the effect. Let's show you from the other side and see. How it's working great now uh, we're going to create the uh, motion link so when I'm moving 
one gear so the other gear it's also gonna move it's gonna turn so I'm going to motion link and I'm gonna choose this um, joint and this joint here and it's not a uh, wait a second so we have this one I can just hide it and create a gain motion link between this one and this one voila if you want we can also reverse it but no this is the right uh, direction and click ok and yeah all actually what is left to do is to hide all these parts that we don't need example this one and this one you can also hide the joints if you don't want to see them and this one and that's it so here you go you have the ex uh, eccentric gear working you can also go uh, in here to the joint here and we can uh, animate for example uh, let's see can click on this one maybe to animate it and voila so this is how I created the elliptic uh, the eccentric gear as you can see it's quite simple but uh, again I use other components in order to create this motion so just you know by thinking a little bit out of the box um, actually we can create a lot of uh, amazing uh, things so uh, I hope you enjoy it if you have any uh, questions, uh, just leave it down in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the uh, like button and uh, the um, thumbs up button and uh, subscribe. There are new movies, uh, videos are coming very soon. So um, yeah, have fun with it and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.